Well, just also for, for everyone that it's uh, that joined later, um, we'll record the session, this webcast, um, to also provide this and share this later on. Uh, you will also find a link uh, or yeah, um, an area on our website where also the recording will be um, yeah, posted and also some uh, additional information to change the logs for DevOps. All right, so. Hello and welcome yeah, for today's webcast. We've very, we are very, very glad um, you've taken the time to join us here to, again and also for this today. Um, in this webcast, we will be introducing our very, very first Azure DevOps change logs uh, app for, um, yeah, by Simova, which allows you to easily and automatically create um, yeah, release notes in uh, Azure DevOps. Also, a quick introduction of today's speakers. Um, my name is Kerem Kikic. Um, or Karim Kikic, and I'm sales consultant at Zimova. Um I will be moderating today. Our marketing sales partner manager, Max Krampe, will be doing the live demo. What we will see today. So um, at first, we will see what is change logs or what are change logs and what is change logs for DevOps by Simova. Um, then we will jump uh, straight in into the live demo where we see the seamlessly integration into um, yeah, Azure boards within or into the backlog items. The different ways of creating change logs, also the output um, types of those change logs, and uh, in the end we will also see the benefits and the packages uh, that we provide for change logs for DevOps. Let's take a look at what change logs are all about. We know it from every day. Um, uh, everyday life when our smartphones get an update, for example, also so shown here uh, for the iOS 16 uh, version, uh, it's always recorded in a file which improvements and changes have taken place. So more, co more concretely, a change log is a log or record of all notable changes that have been made to a project. So the old and usual way, maybe you're also not working with change logs directly, or maybe you started with change logs for your own products. Um, simply the old way is you can create a text file where you um, list all the changes with specific dates. But with change logs for DevOps, you can step in the, uh, into the new and modern way by creating yeah, the change logs directly and easily uh, to your items in Azure boards, and also control uh, the change logs output through Azure pipelines. So if you have questions, feel free uh, to use the chat and ask um, them or ask them directly in the Q&A session afterwards. I now hand over to Max for the live demo. Yeah, thanks, Karim. And uh, I will be doing the live part now. So for this, I will jump right into an uh, Azure board here. And uh, we will see how this um, yeah works out here. This yeah, overview of uh, the dashboard of the um, Azure should be familiar for everyone who's working um, with Azure DevOps for the backlog uh, for the software development. And I will now present you how our Azure, uh, our, our Azure app, uh, ChangeLogs for DevOps, is integrated in the backlog items and bugs. And for that, I will navigate into the work items. And I will create here a new product backlog item. For this example, I have prepared um, a new feature we will be developing today. Um, so we will develop the new feature number eight. Um, I will assign that one to me, give it the uh, tag of the sample product. I will put in here a short description uh, of the feature we will be developing and an acceptance criteria. And yeah, simply type an effort here. And uh, we will now save the product back like a uh, backlog item to yeah see that this is a product backlog item number uh, 32. And we will now yeah pretend our product owner or product manager yeah committed this uh, into the uh, sprint number one. And me as a developer um, now work uh, am I now working on this new feature eight? I'm doing the programming part and I now say, yeah, my uh, development is done. I have created this new feature number eight that is requested here. And I want to set the state of this product backlog item to done. Um, we will now see one of the yeah, 
most important things um, of our Azure DevOps extension, Change Logs for DevOps, which is a prevention of uh, the status change to done before a change log is written. And I now want to say my um, backlog item is done. I get an error message that the system expects a change log to be written for this. And now I, as a developer, can do that right on my backlog item here. Um, on the right hand side, a new tab um, has been added to this backlog item, which is called release notes. And here I am presented with a HTML editor where I can yeah, write down um, the new functionalities of my feature, um, what has been done and how my uh, customers can benefit from that. So I yeah, paste the text here. And uh, with this HTML editor, you have even more features than adding bullet points or uh, basic formation um, of text like um, italic or bold. Um, you could add um, headlines, you can add tables, you can add images, uh, links, etc. And on the right hand side, we see a direct preview of how our backlog item will appear in a change log later. So we can have a direct look. Yeah, this uh, PBE, uh, PBI will be displayed like this in the change log. As I have now added my, my change log here, I say save and done, and my yeah, backlog item status gets set to done, and I can leave it now. We will now jump to the um, other uh, tab here for the change log for DevOps, which is responsible for the creation of the release node. So we jump right to this, um, uh, to this tab here, and we are presented the list of our so-called change log uh, configurations. Uh, change log configurations can be used in uh, multiple ways. For example, you can create a change log configuration for each product. You can create a change log uh, configuration for each released version. So you would um, name your change log configuration, for example, with a version name you are releasing. For the demo purposes of this webcast, we will just call it webcast here and create this one. And the system yeah, jumps right into the change log configuration. And on the left hand side here, we have the possibility yeah, to add work items to this change log configuration. Um, I can't see any here because I haven't added um, work items here. And on the right hand, we are presented yeah, a preview of how our change check will look. I simply click the add button here and I am presented different ways of how I can add work items to this change log configuration. For example, I can um, use the iteration, for example, a sprint. Um, so I can, for example, um, yeah, use or import all product backlog items from sprint number one uh, to this change log configuration. We can use um, the pipeline. So we attach to a certain pipeline, for example, a release pipeline. And when this release pipeline runs through, um, every uh, related work item to this pipeline yeah, is put into this change log configuration. We can create queries here where we um, yeah, simply create uh, a query and according to the filtering options I put in there, um, my change log here is filled. Or the fourth option is to manually add um, work items by their ID. Um, so if I want to yeah, only add specific uh, product backlog items or bugs here, I can do that manually. In this case, I want to use the iteration, um, so the sprint. So I use, uh, select my team and I select my iteration, in this case, sprint number one, and I click add. As we can see, um, many work items here have been added to my change log configuration. And uh, on the right hand side, we can see a preview of our release notes. So we have a, um, yeah, a headline here with our uh, icon. We have a table of content here and listed below are all our bug fixes we have done in this. Um, we have uh, introduced, we have an overview of the new features we have been implementing. And uh, yeah, when I um, am finished with importing work items, I click on save and immediately I'm presented with a download option. When I click the download option, um, yeah, I have different ways of um, output types um, for this change log. So I can, for example, download a file and for uh, yeah, 
for example, a PDF file, a markdown file, or an HTML file. But I can also, um, yeah, release these release nodes or these change logs um, in a repository. In our case, we um, have also implemented a uh, docs, which is markdown based for Simova. On this here, this is all markdown based. Uh, for example, the uh, Microsoft docs is also markdown based. And in this case, um, yeah, I want to show you how we as Simova also use the change logs for DevOps uh, extension. And um, yeah, we simply navigate into our EDS solution and to the tab change logs. And here we can see that our change logs for our EDS solution are automatically published to our docs, uh, Zimova docs via our pipeline when a, a version is released. Um, here we have a, a change log for our hotfix version and a release, the release notes for our released version in the app source, what bug fixes have been done, what new features have been implemented in our EDS solution. And yeah, this is how a uh, uh, markdown based um, release note can look on your side if you yeah, want to automate this process and release it in a markdown based docs, for example. In our case, I want to download a file in uh, this webcast and I choose the PDF function here. So I get presented um, yeah, the, uh, the normal browser printing uh, window here and I um, yeah, select that I want to save this as a PDF. I do that, I replace it and open my file here. And what we can see now is uh, yeah, the PDF of our release notes. We have here yeah, all of our um, bug fixes, our new features. Um, we can have a look at it and for example, send it to our uh, distribution partners, to our customers per email, um, or for example, in whatever way you want to do, um, you could print it out if you want to. Um, there you are open on how you want to handle this file. The last thing I want to show you is the layout um, configuration in the business in the in the Azure DevOps interface. And for that, I navigate on the left hand side to the options tab. And here we can adjust our um, table of content, for example, or our title here. Um, we can say, yeah, we want to display or not display a table of content. We want to switch our logo to the left side um, or want to, ex uh, to extend the subtitle, for example, whatever. And yeah, this will be uh, saved after I click on save. And yeah, this way you can structure or customize the layout of your change log. That was it from the live demonstration um, of our change logs for DevOps. And I want to now give the word back to Kerem for the packages and benefits of change logs for DevOps. Thanks, Max. So let's come to the part of yeah the benefits and packages. Um, we're really talking about two packages that differ in price and features. We're talking about uh, the packages basic and professional that are also listed uh, right now. So um, any change log creation like um, via specific uh, work items, work item IDs are, are already available in basic. So um, yeah, the benefit that you uh, yeah, profit from the professional package is that you can um, change and create um, yeah, those change logs automatically through the Azure pipelines. So here you see we want to uh, make sure that you also have the possibility of having automa automatic creations and uh, save even more time um, by uh, creating those automated. As professional, you can also create PDF files and uh, or you have the output files, the PDF and the HTML, but also Markdown. So um, as you already have seen, we have our own Simova Docs uh, site and also Microsoft, you know, the Microsoft Docs site. If you have your own Docs site, you can also integrate with the Markdown files um, those change logs in your Docs site as well. So in, the, in addition of um, yeah, the benefits um, of the, the professional package is that um, you have the change log configurations, also the uh, unlimited amount of the um, creation of those uh, change log configurations. So uh, compared to basic, you only have four 
but with for the professional package, you have uh, yeah, you're free to use that unlimited or create unlimited amounts of those creation packages. So how much do, uh, do the packages cost? We also have the price tag here. So for basic, it's uh, 45 euros per month. And for uh, the professional, it's 70 per month. So also here we're talking about yeah, really uh, low um, yeah, monthly um, fee that you are paying for the uh, those packages because also those packages are user independent. So if you have, yeah, uh, so you, you can say, all right, I have so much uh, or so many people that are developers at ours so that are responsible for the change logs. We are not uh, counting the um, user, but um, only the monthly fee. But if you say um, from assuming the professional package, um, you would uh, choose the annual billing. You also save 5% of the cost. So for example, at the professional package, you would just pay 798 um, euros per year. So it's an, yeah, uh, a fee that you pay every year then. But finally, um, with with uh, with the full combination of combination of the packages and the benefits, you're really yeah user independent. You have the full cost control and can even test the app for 30 days free of charge. You can just simply go and download the app today for free uh, through the Visual Studio, uh, Studio Marketplace under extensions for as uh, Azure apps. Sorry, not App Store. It's Azure DevOps. Um, but also here we have an announcement that we will also um, have an update of the um, Azure DevOps uh, change logs for DevOps. So also here, uh, the basic and professional package will be added uh, as soon as possible. So um, if you yeah, download the app today, you are free to up um, to um, create two additional. No, it's it's two uh, creation packages for the um, change log configurations. Um, uh, yeah, in in the uh, free version of um, the, the change logs for the Azure DevOps. That's it. That's it for the, the, today's webcast. Thank you for uh, your participation, and we wish you a nice rest of the week. Thanks. Also, thank you from my side. Um, have a nice day and rest of the week. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.